I have an open door policy. All of you can come to the tent to whatever you want. Sheriff Joe Arpaio descended on ASU's Walter Cronkite School of Journalism for a Meet the Press style interview last week. And wherever Sheriff Arpaio goes, his supporters follow. Their signs are about illegal immigration. But when asked about Arpaio's relationship with the media, supporters like Alan Becker think others need to follow his lead. We would not be having this problem if our law enforcement and our elected officials would do the job they're elected to do and paid to do, and instead of leaving it up to him to fight this battle himself. And as with any Arpaio appearance, there are protesters as well, mainly protesting Arpaio's policies on illegal immigration. Protesters like Brian Partina say they are here to exercise their own constitutional um, honor rights. Our right to have the First Amendment honored, um, as Sheriff Joe Arpaio is in the forum, pretty much uh, show our concern with having him on, on our campus speaking on the First Amendment. Unlike other events in the speaker series held at Cronkite, only students, faculty, and local media members were allowed in. But seats started to fill up around 6 p.m. for a 7 p.m. interview. Good seats were at a premium. Over 300 students, faculty members, and local media reporters showed up. As the sheriff entered, though, he received mild applause. <laughs> Dean Callahan then introduced Arpaio and gave reasons why he, above all others, was invited for this. So certainly, um, Sheriff Arpaio, again, powerful, popular, Then the interview began. Cronkite professors Rich Rodriguez, Sue Green, and Steve Elliott asked Arpaio about his interaction with the media and how some label him as a publicity hound. Arpaio was ready for that one. You invited me. I didn't invite you. Is that correct? They invite me. Now, I'm the elected sheriff. I have to get to the people that I serve. During the interview, students silently protested by hanging signs of past Arpaio quotes. About 45 minutes into the interview, however, some student protesters decided to exercise their own First Amendment rights and disrupt the interview. Arpaio took it in good humor, but ended up leaving through the back door. Panelist Steve Elliott thought that the interview went pretty well. We were trying to build to some things that pulled together his relationship with the press and also his recent dealings on him. In an, on illegal immigration. For an event about the First Amendment, it appears everyone got their say. For Newswatch, I'm Eric Jombrowski.